Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your second Angular 2 tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can install the Angular CLI on our computer. Okay, so for this series I'm going to use the Angular CLI which is a command line interface for Angular 2 and it basically opens up a load of Angular commands that we can use in the command prompt to create new projects and generate the core file setup to spin up a local server, create new components, as well as loads of other things as well. Now you don't have to use the Angular CLI to create Angular 2 projects, however, it is much easier to do so and it can be quite a pain to get started with Angular 2 if we don't. Now it requires the Node Package Manager to install the Angular CLI, so we need Node on our computer in order to do that. So to install Node.js, all you want to do is head over to nodejs.org and click this button right here to download the version recommended for most users. So once you hit that, it's going to download on your computer. Follow the installation instructions, just keep everything the same and it's going to install Node on your computer. But once that's finished, just to make sure it has installed, what you want to do is hit the start button and open up a command prompt by typing cmd and go right here and open that. And then just type in node v and that's going to spin back the version of node that you've got on your computer. Now I've got 6.2, you don't need that, you can just download 4.4.7, that is absolutely fine. Okay, so now we have node on our computer, we can use the node package manager because it installed that as well. And we use the node package manager to install other packages on our computer and one such package is the Angular CLI. So the way we install that now is by typing npm, which stands for Node Package Manager, install. And then we're going to install this globally, so I'll say hyphen g, that's what that means. So it installs it on the entire computer and not just in one project. And then the package name, which is angular hyphen cli. So just do that, click enter, then this is going to go ahead and install the angular cli on your computer. Now, depending on how quick your computer is, it's going to take maybe two or three minutes to do this. Mine is really slow at the minute, so I'm just going to cut here and I'll see you when it's done. Okay, cool. So that is finally installed and uh, now we can use the Angular CLI to interact with our projects. And the way we do that is by first saying ng and then whatever command we want to run. But I'm not going to do that just yet. What I'm going to do first of all is navigate to a directory where I want to create a Angular 2 project. So I've already copied that to my clipboard. I'm just gonna paste it in right here. But first of all, you need to write CD, that stands for change directory, and then whatever directory you wanna go in, for example, documents or something like that. Like I say, I've already pasted the path to the directory I wanna to go to, so I'm gonna paste that in right here. So you can see it's in YouTube sites, Angular 2 playlist. So at the minute, that is just an empty directory. And I've also opened that directory in Atom right here. And as you can see, there's absolutely nothing in it whatsoever yet. But what we're gonna do now is generate an Angular 2 project in this directory. So if we go to the command prompt to get, to do that, what we wanna do is run an Angular command. And remember, I said that's ng, and then the command you wanna run. So this time around, when we want to create a new project, what we need to do is say new, and then the name of our project. So I'm just gonna call this project ninja-directory. Hit enter, and that's gonna go ahead and install, or rather create, this project on your computer and set up all the base files for you. All right, cool. So now that's gone ahead and created a new project for us in this directory right here. And if I go to Atom, you can see in this directory, we now have the Ninja directory project. Okay, so it's gone ahead and created all these files for us and folders. Now this might look a bit overwhelming at first, but don't worry, I'm gonna go through what everything does. And in actual fact, we're not gonna need most of these files and folders. Uh, we're only going to be working in this source folder right here. This is where our application code is going to go. The rest is kind of like configuration and the output files, and I'll walk you through them later on anyway. So for now, all you need to remember is how we created a new Angular application using the Angular CLI. And we did that by saying ng, and then new, and then the name of our application. And we did it in this directory where we wanted to create that application, okay? So that's installed this basic project for us now. And if we want to view this project in a browser, then what we're going to need to do is spin up a server. And the Angular CLI can let us do that as well. So the first thing we want to do is navigate into our new project directory, which is this thing right here. So again, I'm going to say CD and then ninja hyphen directory. And that's going to go into this directory. 
and then I'm going to say ng serve and this is going to serve up a server and it's going to show this application in it so this might just take a second or two all right so that's spun up a local server for us and it is serving on this address right here localhost and you can see port 4200 so if we navigate to that address on our computer now it's going to show us this project that it created for us this base project so let's go to a browser and let's go to that address localhost 4200 and if we click enter it's going to load the application just takes a second and there we go app works so this is just a really bog standard basic application that we've installed kind of like a bootstrap application if you like and uh, we can go ahead and create our own application on top of it so that's how we install the angular cli and that's how we use it to create a new project in the next tutorial what i'm going to do is just give you a quick primer on typescript before we dive into this code and explain what everything does